What's up guys? I'm Bobby. I'm Brent. And you're watching Learning with Bobby and Brent. <laughs> that was really weird. So today we put on our learning glasses because today we're feeling very professional and educational. Education. So Brent, what are we learning today? And today we shall be learning about how to import a time lapse system. I feel like this is the point where people are gonna <laughs> click off the video. Yes. All right, Brent. So what are we gonna be learning about today? Today we're gonna learn how to import a time lapse into Premiere. Yes. So you may be wondering to yourself. Time lapse? What exactly is that? Yeah, what is a time lapse? People always ask me that question. I'm like, come on, you should know what a time lapse is. Why are you asking me these questions when yeah. I'm trying to walk down the street? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm like, come on. <laughs> I'm man. with my family right now. So, a time lapse is a series of pictures. So, uh, almost like a stop motion sequence okay. where you take a picture and it, it takes a picture every few seconds. Uh, so it's like a really low frame rate video, almost. Oh, okay. Also, with a time lapse, you can set up a camera and speed up a shot. Really, it's just to uh, show a change over time in a short amount of time. Oh, okay, cool. So what we're going to show you how to do today is we're going to show you how to take a time lapse with pictures that you've taken with either your DSLR or your GoPro, and we're going to show you how to import that into Premiere as a time lapse. Awesome. So we're here in Premiere and the first step is to create a sequence and if you've watched our basics to Premiere video you'll know how to do that. Uh, so we've already done that. Cool. Now we're gonna go down into this project folder here and we're going to right click and we're gonna go down to our import button. Oh okay. So if you know where in your computer your pictures are for your time lapse um, you're just gonna go and find that folder and you're going to select the folder and it's very simple. All you have to do is click on the first image. So as you can see here, we've got about a thousand pictures Ooh, that we've that taken. That is a lot of pictures. Many, many pictures. And we're going to just select the first one. That's okay. it. No more, no less. I noticed when you clicked on that first picture too, it um, highlighted the little checkbox that says image sequence. Yeah, so about down here basically if you select this, if you have this selected, it will import them as a sequence. So it'll basically stitch all the images together for you. If you oh. unselect that, it'll import just a single image. That seems like it's a great time saver. It really is a great time saver and it assumes that you want to make a time lapse or some sort of sequence with your pictures. So if you select it, it automatically clicks awesome. image sequence. Great. So next, all we have to do is click import and it's going to import those files. Oh, okay. So. Oh, but it's, it only looks like one file right now, though. So it looks like one file, but it's actually tricking you. So can you see down here this little timestamp? It says 3309. Oh, okay. So that's showing that it's about 33.09 seconds long. Gotcha. Like a video. So if we drag this into our sequence here, you can see we're going to keep existing settings. If you scrub through the timeline here, you'll notice that it's multiple images oh, stitched wow. together. That's really cool. Yeah, so it basically did everything for you. So the thing about this time lapse that we've created here is that it's actually zoomed in a lot. So if we go into our video effects and scale it out, we can bring it to the proper size that oh, we wow. need it. Oh, okay, yeah, there was a lot of stuff there that wasn't showing. Yeah, sometimes it'll um, not adjust to the settings of the sequence and it'll be way too zoomed in. Okay. So make sure before you start that it's at the proper zoom, gotcha. uh, the proper scale level. That's a good tip. Okay, so we've imported the sequence. Now all we have to do is hit the play button, and if you'll watch here, there it is. It's... Oh, wow. It's like a raven there with those flashing lights. Yeah, there's a lot of flashing lights, which comments. I don't recommend that. We're going to hear the comments. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you guys have too many flashing lights on. <laughs> Whatever. Bring it on. <laughs> We're angry. Yeah. Not really. <laughs> We're not angry. All right, and that's basically how you do that. If you want to time stretch it, um, as we've said in our Premiere Basics video, if you'll hit the R key, you can actually time stretch that to be either slower or faster than what you cool. had it. So there's a, a few different ways to do it. So that's it. All you have to do is go into your project folder, right click, import, select the first image, and then click OK, 
and Premiere will do the rest of the work for you. It's wow. very simple. That's really awesome, and that's a super helpful tip to have, you know, because trying to create that thing on your own would be super time consuming. So this would be really helpful for if you've already created your time lapse in your GoPro or your DSLR. So thanks for watching this episode. We're very grateful for you joining us in our quest to teach people video editing skills. Absolutely. We will be upgrading to Premiere Pro 2017 soon. Yes. We're just uh, a little scared. A little scared, you know, a little scared. Updating is always a scary proposition. You never know what you're going to get, but yes. we're going we're gonna to take the plunge pretty soon so that we can kind of dive in, learn the new ins and outs of the software so that we can pass along that knowledge to you guys. We want to show you. <laughs> we want to show you. <laughs> Hey, yo. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time. I'm Bobby. I'm Brent. And you've watched. Oh. <laughs> Learning with Bobby and Brent. <laughs> hey guys, this is Brent from Learning with Bobby and Brent. Thank you so much for watching this video. We really appreciate it. You know, it takes a lot of time and energy and hard work to get these videos out every week. So support us on Patreon because we gotta do things that are, just require a lot of action and uh, such as leaning and crouching. Yes. So uh, make sure you support us. We gotta pay for Bobby's chiropractor bill. Yeah, my back, it, it's its always hurting me, so. Yes. Yes, and, and uh, it's essential that he leans under the table like that. I have to, it's just where I live. You guys asked for it and you got it. Alright, subscribe guys. Thank you.